Hey there guys and welcome back to the Two Players Podcast, episode 15. Today we're going to be talking about the news, games we've been playing recently, and all the normal stuff that we normally, I guess, do on this show. So, the first piece of news that we got is that the fan-made Pokemon game has been shut down. I actually... It's Uranium, right? Pokemon yeah, Uranium. Uranium. Yeah. And I think they got, like, DMCA'd or something like that. Like, basically, Nintendo was like, take this game down. But, yeah, yeah, it was the um, same thing that happened to the uh, Metroid one. Yeah. But uh, this one had quite a number of downloads, 1.5 million. That's yeah, a lot. It, it was one of the better mods for Pokemon. They even made, like, their own Pokemon and stuff. I heard it was really fun. But, you know, it sucks that they... Because Nintendo just hates fan games, apparently. <laughs> I guess they just don't like it when, um... What's it called? Fans take their properties and then do it for their own thing. But, like, they're not really harming anyone, really. Yeah. I mean, I think someone brought up a, a point on Twitter. It was, like... so. I think it was the person that's doing Sonic Mania right now, he made a fan game for, like, Sonic, and basically Sega hired him. But, like, Yeah, I mean, Sega, Sega doesn't take down fan games that much. Like, there's a bunch yeah, of they, Sonic like, like, fan I, games. All right, I, I remember this one time. Uh, they were, like, because people were uploading Sonic Boom episodes on YouTube, and, yeah. like, they didn't, like, copyright them or anything or, like, strike them or do anything like that. They... They just made a post and was like, hey, man, just, like, take them down, you know. It's like, don't do that stuff. <laughs> yeah, see, that's nice. Like, give them a warning, at least, because having, like, a strike <laughs> on your channel is awful. But, I mean, you shouldn't yeah. be uploading them there anyway, but still. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's kind of just, like, it's 1.5 million downloads. The damage has already been done, basically. But, obviously, fans that do want to download it now need to be careful on where they download it because the original person that put it up, doesn't have it up there anymore so wherever you do download it it's probably gonna have some sort of virus or something like that but yeah just like be careful on on what you do yeah. if you do want to play pokemon uranium but yeah i heard it was pretty good but you know I, personally i'm not a huge fan of like fan games and stuff but yeah me know, either but uh I, I when think people it's do cool. do like good ones that's like you know props to them i guess yeah like i like watching the sonic hacking contests it's always fun yeah. to watch those and see the different fan games uh for the sonic games but, you know, it, it's, it is sad when these get taken down, but there's nothing you can really do about it since they have the yeah, right it, to. So. Yeah, it is their property. Yeah. They can do what they want. So, so. It, it, they, they probably knew the risk anyway when making it, so it's like they can't be that mad, but still. You know, it's just a, it's just a lose-lose for everyone. Mm-hmm. All right, so the next announcement comes from GamesCon, I believe. It was yeah. Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Survival, basically Konami's attempt to continue getting money from the Metal Gear series and, and it's bad. this just looks bad yeah, I, mean, I mean like it looks it is, nice <laughs> I mean like graphically yes yeah, it does it's look using, nice it's using the Fox but engine, so. um obviously the way that they are using this property with Metal Gear now that Kojima's gone this is the first um project that Kojima won't be part of when it comes to his own property because you know he signed a, I guess he signed a contract with Konami like yeah you have the rights to it or something like that but Basically, Konami's trying to just make money off of a dead property that, you know, not many people are going to support now. Yeah, it's, it's looks so dull. Like, you got, like, four <laughs> people, you know, there's always, like, the four people survival, like, yeah, I, thing, and then, like, I feel stuff. like it's going to be, like, some sort of edgier, left for dead kind of thing. Yeah, that, that's but... exactly what it's going to be, and it's, like, you really couldn't come up with anything better, like... It doesn't even have so any any stuff. It's an alternate stealth. universe, like, which no, is dumb. It's, dumb. Yeah, it, it, it's a co-op survival game, but that's like I don't know. I, I, no. Until we see gameplay, we we gotta like wait, I guess. But like, just like the premise in it of itself is kind of just dumb. Yeah, like we don't need another zombie game. Come on, guys. We also don't need another Metal Gear game, to be honest. Yeah, it should just so. ended where it was, but you know, whatever, man. I mean, someone's gonna buy it. Someone's gonna buy this game. Well, yeah. But they're it's retarded. Gonna make... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna make some money, but not as much as they're probably expecting. But, you know, Konami wants to do what they want to do. No one's gonna really. Well, the hardcore fans know that they aren't gonna support that. To be yeah. Honest. Uh, This was actually interesting. The PS4 Slim got leaked. And these look pretty legit pictures. Kinda, I would it looks say. like it looks like the PS2 <laughs> slim, right? <laughs> uh, sort of, yeah, I would say that. But um, I believe PlayStation or Sony, whatever name you want to put on them. But I think this was at like some sort of conference soon. Uh, something like that. I forget. But yeah, this looks pretty legit. 
I mean, it's like what I expect. Yeah. To you know, for PS4 slim to yeah. look like. I mean, some people are saying that it looks ugly and stuff, but really, it's like, what did you want from it? Like, what do you want? From I mean, yeah, as long as it's slim? like you know smaller or yeah, you know. it's smaller. It still has the same technology and everything like that, and it you know it's still 500 gigs, so that's pretty good. You know, yeah. they didn't like cheap out on the the uh, memory front. Also, on the bottom of it, it. It doesn't have like normal like studs. It has like the PlayStation symbols, like the X triangle yeah. circle. That's pretty cool. But I don't know, you know. Until we get an official uh, announcement, I think that this is pretty legit in my opinion. And if you don't own PS4, I would say wait for this to be officially announced or something like that. Yeah, so. obviously. Like you don't. If you have a PS4, don't bother. But like if you don't, yeah. then buy this one. Probably. Wait, is it gonna be cheaper or is it gonna be same price? It'll probably be cheaper, if oh, I would okay. guess. Maybe like 300 Alright, that's good. Because the PS4 yeah, is a good system. Like that. Yeah, it, PS4 is probably like the best one out of the two when it comes to PS4 or Xbox One, in my opinion. Yeah. Just because PS4 just has more games in general. So, I mean, like that's just my personal opinion, and I think it's kind of like true, in a sense. I think it is, yeah. Because Xbox had that... I believe it was last last holiday season. They had like that slew of just games. I think it was like Gears of War, uh, Tomb Raider, Halo Five. But most of those games were like, I mean, like Halo Five was like super mixed, and Gears of War was only the first Gears. I actually thought it was all for the Gears games, but I, I guess I'm just dumb. <laughs> and then uh, Tomb Raider was pretty good, but that's coming out this year for PS4. So yeah, I think it's, it's on like, PC, right? Isn't it yeah, PC? yeah, it's already on PC, I believe. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> it's like whatever. You know, Microsoft can't exactly get their own true exclusive, but obviously Sony can because they're Sony. Yeah. Uh, this next piece of news is actually pretty interesting because I I like I like I really like the Epic Mickey series. And the fact that Disney was going to do their own little, like, Mario Kart, I guess, sort of, like, spinoff with Epic Mickey designed characters. So. Yeah, that, that would have been cool because I... No, the Epic Mickey series was pretty cool because I really do like the art style of these. Like the, yeah, like, the like, art style is pretty nice. I really do like it. Yeah. And I don't know. The way that Disney handles, like, their games, like, their game development is kind of, like, strange. Like, obviously they're a business, but they don't really care about, you know new ideas and stuff they just want to make the fastest money as possible if you know what i'm saying yeah i mean this probably got canceled because like you know it's a cart game it's probably just gonna be eaten alive by mario kart anyway <laughs> but i don't know you know it looks like a mario kart style kind of game and you, you know if it did come out i i think it would be you know at least decent it would be at least playable obviously <laughs> so i don't know but this is just a little piece of news that I found really interesting because I don't think anyone would have expected Disney to do something like this, like ever. Uh, the new Super Saiyan form, I don't know why they keep doing this, but it's Super Saiyan Rose. He has like a pink hair kind of thing. I don't yeah, know. I don't, I don't know what this, like, <laughs> what do you mean? Is this like Vegito? <laughs> uh, I think it he is because, the, the yeah, earring. the, uh, yeah. earrings, but... I don't know, man. What are they doing with Dragon Ball Z nowadays? Because I'm not watching Super, but I hear it's pretty good. But I don't know. Like they just, they just keep trying to find ways to like extend the power of the Sands. Yeah, it's like you had Super Saiyan God Super or whatever. And now <laughs> Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku, I think. And that's so retarded. And now you have Super <laughs> Saiyan Rose, like, like. Come on, you could end it at God. <laughs> like you don't. Yeah, they, they honestly could have like ended there, but they were like, nah, nah, nah. we gotta do Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, obviously. But uh, I don't know. You know, it's it's uh, Dragon Ball Z for you, I guess. You know, they just don't stop. Okay. I don't know because um, when they ended the series, and now that they're recently bringing it back with the movies and all this other stuff. Um, I I really don't know why they had to make another Super Saiyan form. Yeah, you know, I would have been fine without Super, uh, Dragon Ball Z Super. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm fine with it. I mean, GT wasn't that good, but, you know, I'm fine with how the... I mean, like, know. GT's not even canon. Yeah, so, so it's like, like, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but still. So, I don't know. They just keep trying to expand the universe in a way. I mean, you know, 
in the movies, it was so nice, you know, seeing like Gohan and Videl and all this other stuff, you know, like do their own thing. But you know, they're like doing these Super Sans that I'm just like, where'd you come up with this? How can you like give me like a good backstory to like at least enforce it? I really don't know anymore about these uh, new Super Saiyan forms, but. They're probably going to keep doing it, if I were to guess. Alright, next piece of news is that Dream Team fails to pay Anti, The Buzz, and Hugs, the um, three Smash players that they recently signed, and Anti and The Buzz, I believe, leave Dream Team because of it. Oh, really? So, yeah. And this isn't the first time that Dream Team failed to pay, you know, someone on time. I think it was, first it was Biofrost, who's the League of Legends player that he played for their team during that time he didn't get paid at all and then i think after that it was the call of duty team that they didn't pay and now it's these three smash plays that they didn't get to pay on time so no oh, that's bad track re- record like yeah it's like <laughs> come on man like after the first one you should have at least learned at that point but i don't know anti and the buzz like they just like they literally recently just got signed like i don't even think it's been like 3 months yet so yeah, that's and, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, and now like these two people leave, so it's kind of just like uh, I mean, like hugs. I think he's dealing with like financial trouble, so I guess that's why he stayed because he's like I don't know who else would sponsor me, so or like who else would give me an offer to a sponsorship. So yeah. you know, I mean, anti and the buzz. I'm pretty sure that they're okay with not having a sponsorship. You know they. They've been free agents for, like, the longest time. So, you know, going back to being a free agent, I don't think it would be that hard for them. But, obviously, Dream Team does not have a good track record at this point. Yeah, it's pretty bad. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The last piece of news is that um, Nairo signs with NRG, which was really surprising to... uh, I mean, like, alright, so the first thing that happened was the fact that he left Liquid, which was pretty surprising to everyone, I think. Because he just won Super Smash Con, which was I uh, the latest major, I believe. Yeah. So he won Super Smash Con and then he just leaves Liquid. So people are like, no matter what, he would have left. And people speculated that he did get a better offer, which I guess NRG gave him that better offer. And yeah, uh, this is NRG's first, uh, I believe, fighting fighting game player. So My fighting game player in general, Jesus. Hey. Yeah. So. <laughs> I wonder how this will end up. I mean, like, Nairo's always been, like, a pretty good player, like, top eight, like, constantly in the world, I believe, I would say. Or, like, at least in NA or, like, USA or whatever the heck you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, uh, I hope the best for Nairo. You know, he's, like, one of my favorite Smash players, so. And Nairo's good, yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty happy that he found, uh, he found another sponsorship so quickly. I mean, like, he probably wanted to go and sign with them to begin with since he left liquid but uh yeah that's that's it for news uh now let's get into games we have been playing recently all right damon you start off all right so i'll talk about i finished life is strange so in the beginning on the last like podcast i said it was you know it's pretty good uh by the end it was really really good uh you know i can't really say much because you know again story focused game yeah, yeah spoilers but the, so. uh, the ending does kind of tank it a bit for me just a little bit just because like I don't know the way they did it. It was just like they really only have like you only get like two two choices at the end. So it's sort of like a Mass Effect thing where it's like you know you only get like three endings and that sucks. I'm uh-huh. like, All right, but um, you know, I, I it was still a really good game throughout. I really liked it. The whole time travel thing, I, I really liked that stuff, and it was like super emotional. I'm like, God damn, what? <laughs> Didn't expect that. And um, but yeah, a really good game. Uh, first episode's free. Is on, on like anywhere. I think you could get on Xbox, PS4, or Steam. So yeah, if you if you don't like it by the first episode, I don't know. You could try it till the second one. But um, I also been playing uh, The Wolf Among Us, which I also beat. It wasn't that long? It's like nine hours, which is a uh, Telltale game. So uh, it, was again, it five episodes too, right? Yeah, five episodes. Okay. Um, it's, it's again, it's really good. I can't really say much about it. Um, it, it just it was really good like I'll probably put it I mean I only played like Walking Dead season one uh uh the Borderlands one and this one so like I only played like three Telltale games but um it was still like really good I love the art style I like the detectiveness since it's like more of a detective type game uh just really good liked it a lot uh good voice acting good plot 
know everything you need to make a good story. So uh, I, I really want season two also, but I don't know if that would ever happen because there's some uh, Telltale has some weird creative differences with the uh, creator of that. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, of that series. I actually never heard heard about that before. Yeah, so that that is you know unless they figure that out, then I don't know if there will ever be a season two. It, it's it totally can. It's not like Life is Strange was like that could never get a season two because that would just destroy everything. But this one can. But I, I don't know if it if it will ever happen. Um, what else have we been playing? Uh, I think I think that's about it actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, what I've been playing. Uh, I finished Lego Marvel Superheroes like oh, okay. literally today. Oh, what was oh that my for? god, Wii U? dude! Yeah, I got it for Wii U. Oh, oh my okay. god, dude! The frame rate towards <laughs> the end, dude. The frame rate just like shits. It, it literally like five frames per second at times. I'm like, oh my god, I can't even. But I don't know. It's like a standard Lego game, just with voice acting. Like it's it's literally just like every single Lego game you've ever played, just with Marvel superheroes. So, uh, I mean, like. I guess I'm just older, but, uh, you know, like, Lego games don't really appeal to me as much. Also, oh, they're really samey. Like, most of them are really Yeah, same. like, they're just, like, you do a puzzle, you fight some enemies, you do a boss, next chapter, you do the same thing, basically. Yeah. So, it's just that, you know, there's, like, different characters and, like, different power-ups and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, uh, it was okay. I mean, like, if you're into Lego games, you'll probably like it. Uh, I think you should get the newer Marvel one, because this one's... It's, how do I put this? It's not as updated as, you know, obviously the newest one is in, in, in terms of, like, the heroes and stuff. And I believe the newer one has just, like, more characters in general. So, but, I don't know. Like, Marvel Super Heroes was okay. It's, it's, it's not something that you should play, but, you know, if you want to, like, burn some time, just, like, I guess you could play that if you want. Uh, I finished DMC, Devil May Cry. That was a great game. Uh, the ending really got to me. I was like, "Oh God, what's going on?" <laughs> but you know, it, it's it's a pretty good game. Uh, I hope that they do a sequel, but uh, the DLC piece it might tie into the the rest of the ending. But I don't know yet because I didn't play it. So if there isn't a sequel because of that DLC piece, I don't know. But you know, I would love to go and see Dante. Just like go back, you know, one last time or maybe a third time. I don't know because. The first time, or like this first game, got a lot of controversy just because it was a reboot well, of yeah, a series was, that everyone loved. Yeah, yeah it was, it was like the Metacritic of... score. The Metacritic score like tanked super hard in terms of like the user rating. Yeah, but everyone else was just like, yeah, you know, it's a pretty the, good game. The gameplay is still good. It's just that people just hated his character because he was edgy and shit. But like, I mean, like in my opinion, I didn't think his character was that bad. I mean, that's probably because didn't I didn't. Ones, yeah. yeah, I didn't play the other ones as much, so. I think in the other games, he was just, like, a chill guy. And then this one, he's, like, super serious. But I don't think he's that serious. And, and, and all things considered, he's not exactly that edgy. So I right, that's good. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I would definitely recommend you play it, to be honest. It's a pretty good game. Yeah, I, I like, have it. it. I need to play it, yeah. It's pretty much just, like, any other hack and slash game, I would say. But, like, the combos and, like, the weapons and everything is, like, really good. So... Anything else I've been playing? Uh, I tried to restart Tearaway Unfolded. Like, I, like I, I wanted to finish it for the summer backlog, but I couldn't because, like, when I started it up, I was like, how do I restart the game? Like, how do I get a new save? And I didn't know. So I started playing for a bit, and, and I just did not know what I was doing because I didn't know all of the controls. I didn't know all the moves that I was supposed to do. So I was just like, screw it. I'm going to just restart. And I restarted, and I, and I haven't played it since then. Oh, wow. So... But you know, it, it's it's still like a really good platformer, I think. But I I believe that was like really really close to the end too. So, but uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, anything else I've been playing? Uh, Yoshi's Island because I got that from the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. We started playing that. That's really fun. Really did like it. Uh, I think I got through the first world. I think I'm like one third through the second world. I forget, yeah, it's very but, fun. I I have. Yeah, it's before. really fun. Yeah. Uh, anything else I've been playing? Uh, I try to play Link's Awakening on the Game Boy, but you know it's on the Game Boy, so it's kind of hard to play. But that's because... what I was saying to get the. Uh, you could probably just get in the freaking virtual eShop or uh, 3DS. Yeah, you get the... maybe I should do that, but uh, I don't know. It's a good I'll game. See. I'll see what I'll do, but you know I was like enjoying myself with it because you know you just like it's literally just two buttons compared to like all of the more recent Zelda the games where it's like. 
a bunch of buttons that you have to use, you know? Yeah. So, I was just, like, enjoying the simplistic way that the game was doing itself. But, um, I mean, I've been, I played Overwatch. I got competitive. Like, I, I finished my placement matches before they ended the season. I was, like, 50-something. Oh, baby. I forget what. But, yeah, I was, like, 50, like, or, around there. And right. then League, I don't know. I don't even know what League anymore, dude. Like, <laughs> they recently, um, they recently implemented the only solo and duo for Diamond only. But the thing is that, I don't know why, but my MMR recently just tanked. So I've been playing with a lot of plat players, and those players are not good. Oh, wow. Like, it's so... Fr like, I literally just lost a game that we could have won. But people are just so cocky, and just people just think the game's over. But it, in reality, it's not. Like, you need to keep playing the game until n the freaking Nes Nexus explodes. So, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I was so trying to just, like, win, but people are just freaking retarded. But, like, oh, my God, man. I just can't even anymore. But, uh, anything else I've been playing recently? Uh, I don't think so. But, uh, I'm still trying to think. Uh, we played, like, multiplayer games. Like, we played Duck Game. Yeah, we duck played game. Uno. Uh, I think that's about it. I mean, like, Uno is just, like, super troll. Uno is troll. It's, like, super RNG. <laughs> yeah. Because it's it basically, like, almost a card game, but you're just playing with a group of people, and it's, like... I don't even know how to, like... But it, it basically, a, a multiplayer card game would just super simple, is how I would see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you don't know how basically to play Uno, then, like, you know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but... That game is just like super, super competitive amongst us, I would say. Yeah. But uh, I don't think there's been anything else we've been playing. Uh, I guess the last thing we could talk about is like the two Steven Universe episodes. So obviously yeah. spoilers if you didn't watch those. But the first one was was a filler episode, right? Yeah. It was, it was like, silly. yeah, it was filler, like. The whole time I was watching it, I was like, what the hell's the point of this? <laughs> yeah, it was just a filler episode, you know, nothing really like, Them out. going to a library, the, the, I don't even know who the hell Figured. they were reading about. Like, th like just, like, history of uh, Beach City, I think, or something like that. They were just like, alright, here we go. And, <laughs> and they talked about it, but nothing really got happened, so it's just like... Yeah, no. nothing really happened because of it, but... Uh, the episode after that was pretty good, yeah, I would say. The episode after that was really good, so then, uh... Yeah. So basically, you know, Connie beat up this kid, right? <laughs> Connie beat up this kid, right? Oh my god. When that happened, when they were um, Stevani, and then that kid popped up, I was like, what the fuck? It's like, <laughs> what was that? Like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, I was confused on what, what happened. I'm like, oh, she beat up this man. I'm like, oh, okay. But then, uh, and then you know, um, do the song and stuff, which yeah, was the, good. Yeah, that song was pretty good, too. Like, yeah. towards the end, I was feeling it. It was actually was that, the song. that whole song sequence was animated by uh, one of the people from Studio Trigger, which made a killer kill. So that's why it was like oh, okay. you could tell because the, the animation was like at a lower frame rate, so it was like a lot more detail to movement and stuff. So I, I noticed oh, that right okay. away. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. And um, so basically, I had to go through this whole song. Basically, like I, I think it's about like anxiety and stuff or something. Like you know, just talk about your problems and stuff like that. I think just yeah. so they could have a more stable fusion. So uh, after that. Steven and then and after that, Steven got triggered. Yeah, I don't know what Steve, happened Steven to him. Steven had PTSD. He's stabbing <laughs> Bismuth. He's like, oh, I'm dead, boy. And then, like, Jasper showed up. He's like, oh, I can't save you either. And then the other Ruby show up. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're in space now. Hella triggered. So yeah, he got triggered. And then they like, start falling. Connie's like, yo, pull yourself together, man. <laughs> and then they fuse back. And then they, you know, they, they didn't They die. land safely. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 it was pretty safely. good, though. I, it really showed the importance of fusion and, like, you know, like and, love and, uh, each other, man. Yeah, like what's also been going on with uh, Steven on the inside of his head. Yeah, because you Since know he's he, like, I don't want to hurt anyone, but you know, he kinda went I have a to. Lot, so. Yeah, I mean, when you have to meet a new gem and then immediately have to kill her, when you're trying to save someone and then have to kill that person too, and then when you're trying to be friendly with someone but have to lead them out in outer space. Yeah, so you know, yeah, you could, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of stuff to take in. It's a lot. So, <laughs> but uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. I mean, like host topics. I really don't have one yeah, to be either. honest. I, I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't really think there's anything else we should be talking about or anything we will be talking about because I got none. I'm drawing a blank. So this is probably one of the shortest episodes of the podcast, but that's fine. Thank you guys for listening once again. And we'll see you guys two weeks from now with the next episode. So see you guys then. Later.